When double jungling, you want to choose two camps to do for your jungler. The most common would be Gromp and Blue. When doing Gromp and Blue, you want your jungler to give you level 2 from Gromp and then you give him a leash while not taking any of the camps from Blue. This way you hit level 2 and your jungler gets a decent leash from Blue and jungles towards the bottom side of the map. When doing this, you want to walk towards lane right after instead of TPing. The reason for this on blue side is because when you have 80% health from tanking the camp and double jungle, you can literally just walk to lane with either Flask 3 pot or Doran's item and potion and you'll have the TP advantage and level 2 over your opponent. Generally most opponents like to go uh, wolves or wraiths and then just TP into lane, but if you get that TP advantage and push up the third cannon wave and back in TP, you'll be up in item advantage and you'll find yourself with lots of control in the lane. So depending on your champion, there are many options of what to do, but when you're an AP champion that can't double jungle or can't solo a camp, one option is to show up into lane early and pull the wave into the brush. How to do this is standing at the edge of the brush and when the minion waves come, you walk outside of the brush, you press S to stop your attack, and you wait until every single ranged minion attacks you at least once. When the last ranged minion winds up and starts to attack you, walk back into the brush and your lane will be pushing back towards you. What this will do is when the enemy double jungles or does any camp, they'll still arrive around a certain time depending on how fast they do, but this way you won't be at a disadvantage of forced being forced to push the wave and you'll deny some creeps to the enemy top laner. So the third start that you want to do if your jungler is also a double jungle but instead you and your jungler go to your red buff on blue side where your bot lane is doing golems and what your jungler does is smite over golems for the golem buff and then just walks to red and does red and then raves. What this does is it gives your bottom a strong enough leash to be able to do golems and then walk to lane without missing that many creeps. In bot lane, every time they do golems by themselves, there's always a chance for the lane to RNG and sometimes it can RNG really badly. This might will reduce the chances of that and you know take out all RNG and just allow them to be in lane early and it might give them an early level 2 advantage. What it kind of um, doesn't benefit for top and jungle, but what it does is it allows jungle to path towards top and it allows top to get level 2 and double jungle and TP. It's not exactly that bad, but it's just another strategy for solo queue and competitive play. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out my other guides at lowclass.com. For team fights on Darius, it's important to play selfish but you can be the engager by flash eing. It's not very common.